What's up? I'm Alfonso, and you're now listening to the Atlantic Marine Podcast. And today we have a very special guest. His name is Mr. Miami Mutton Man Jr. <laughs> <laughs> For those that out there that don't know, what is your name? Kevin. Kevin. My name's Kevin. So Kevin's father is a very famous fisherman here in South Florida, the Miami Mutton Man. Mm-hmm. And you pretty sure you've bumped into him on his Instagram, Miami Mutton Man. You, he has a lot of followers and he does a lot of fishing. So tell us a little bit about what you do, Junior, about going out with you, going fishing with you, a day of fishing. How, how does that work? For sure, man. Yeah. Um, very simple i mean it's it's a little bit off the traditional you okay know? um all these uh, captains they have their own boat but uh, my dad started something pretty you know innovative and new and that was going on customers boats and showing them how to do it you know the whole the whole thing is um you know to get the customers out active on their own boat familiar with their own boat familiar with their own waters you know that's what it's about and setting them up for them to do it with their families after you know what i mean that's what it's about yeah you take them out on their boat now they're that much more comfortable. Exactly. Absolutely, absolutely, and, and it's a it's a real good experience for those new boaters to have. Mm-hmm. And as a matter of fact, that's something that we should promote. For sure. You know, every Honestly. time we get a, a, a customer that buys a new boat, you want to go fishing, you want to learn how to fish. I could I could get you Miami Mountain Man Junior. Jumps yeah. on your boat, teaches you how to use it, how to fish correctly. That's for it. Sure. Teaching you how to use it. Because sometimes with his experience, he's gonna run into something where like I didn't even know that's what you used that for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent, man. That happens all the time. You'd be surprised <laughs> how many people don't know what their own boat has, even if they've been through the delivery process and all that. You know what I mean? Yes. This one thing is, you know, being and going on your boat and having a nice cruise, and another thing is actually fishing your boat hard. You know what and, I mean? And, and, Obviously, it's very important and it'll help out a lot if you use live bait. Mm-hmm. So if you guys are out there getting boats and you want to go fishing, I highly recommend that your boat has a live one and a working one. And if not, you give us a call and we'll fix it for you. <laughs> yeah, very important for fishing, especially if you want to do it right. Obviously, if, if you have a boat, try to make sure it has a live well. If it doesn't have one, get one, fix it, do whatever it takes because live bait, it's easier to fish on. It's definitely uh, you advantage. Throw, you throw a chum bag. <laughs> Yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's um, the difference. We do a lot of things, bro. It depends on the day. You know what I mean? It's that's the thing. You know, we have clients that tell us, "Man, we're gonna learn everything. We're going out with you. I'm gonna be the best after this and all this." And it's just not. I tell them straight up. It's like, man, I can't teach you everything in one day. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I can take you here right now, and the current will be like this, and the wind will be like this, and then tomorrow you come right back, and the wind and the current are different. I'm somewhere else. You know yes. what I mean? And that's what it's about. You know, a lot of guys are are hung up on the whole like. You gotta have your own spots, and the spots is this, and that, 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 that. Oh my God, man! Our whole thing is don't give my spots away. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah, that's how it is, you know. But our whole thing from the beginning was, you know, hey, look, this is where we go. This is where you want to come back this day and doing this. How we did it today, so you can do it with your family, bro. That's oh, that's about. nice. So that's that's good. It makes them comfortable. It makes them go out and fish more, which is good. Mm-hmm. Any type of fish you really like going after? Are you a seasonal guy, do you, or is there like a Honestly, fish that you, like, you really, really like? I mean, I know the name <laughs> gives it out, gives <laughs> it away. You know what I mean? Go ahead. <laughs> but obviously, that mutton is, is my number right. one. That's it right he there. He's a yep. mutton man, so For you sure. like mutton, huh? Love that, love that. But I'm not gonna lie, man. My um, cobia fishing is actually like way up there. Really? Almost, yeah. almost, okay. almost after you know, almost before the mutton. Do you have a boat yourself? Yeah, yeah. We have a 21 uh, Boston Whaler. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. 21 Boston Whaler. Hey, those things are tough. I've yeah. seen them in and out of the, the inlet, and they always oh, yeah, come man. in, they always come out. Hey, listen, man. All Unsinkable size. legend, man. Yeah. 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 That's the truth right there. Yeah, you got the blue top legend. I don't know yeah. how many legends are out there, but they're all Boston Whalers. Yeah, yeah. that's the way it is, man. But and yeah. another question, the fishing trips, you do half day, full day? So we only do full days. Um, the way it works is um, if you have a boat, it has to be at least 25 feet or bigger That's okay. yep. for us to go on it, you know, for it to be safe and Absolutely. with all the gear that we bring and stuff. Um, 25 feet or more, uh, anywhere from Miami all the way down to Summerland Key, which is mile marker 25. Is cool. that how you started? You guys, yeah. are you just like... We started, um, my dad started in 2008, and he, man, I mean, honestly, the story is pretty crazy of how he started. Uh, I know we got a little bit of time, so I'm going to say it. Um, Go ahead. He, uh, he started at a, at a print shop, and uh, he, was, he was working uh, this machine, and he was both the engineer and the, the person that ran it. So he the pretty, guy. 
yeah, he, he was well known in the printing industry as that guy, you know, oh, this guy, you know, you don't have to pay an engineer and another guy, you know what I mean? This guy does not both. So he, he started that, but it was long hours, you know, whatever. He stayed there for like almost 40 years. And uh, along all that, he was fishing on the side, you know, he loved it. Me and him, um, you know, I grew up fishing my whole life. And um, we started on the Florida Sportsman. Nice. Forum. Yeah. And, you know, back in the day, there was no Instagram, no none of this, man. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? So, you know, if you liked fishing and the very, very, very few people that actually liked fishing. Back in the day. You know, back in the day, they would go up and, and see the report. And that's what we would do. You know, we would go to Flamingo and post. Yeah, you know, we'd go to this area. It was like this. And everybody would just go in and see what's kind of going on. You know, and that's how we started as yeah. his, his username on that was Miami Mutton Man. You that's know cool. I mean? That's, that's where really it started. cool. I follow him. I, fo I follow your dad. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I don't follow Junior. <laughs> so I started following you now. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. God. Um, super cool. Your dad's Instagram profile is amazing. I yeah, know. Have you ever had a day that you have not caught anything? Honestly, bro, it's happened. Yeah, oh, 100%. You got bro. an every, honest captain here. Hey, listen, here. man. Hey, yeah. not every day is a killer day. That's the real, the real life about fishing. You know what I mean? Hey. Even though even the pros, you know, sometimes have a hard day. You know what I mean? You heard it here. If you don't catch anything, he'll refill your tank on your boat. And <laughs> <laughs> all food paid for back. And then, nah, 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 nah. You get a second free fishing trip. A bad second day free on fishing trip. Nah, I just don't know. Any day in the yes. office. Yeah. Oh, I, I've you been know, out there and I don't catch anything myself. You know, it's, it's funny. I've never ran into a problem with a customer out there. It's n I've never had a negative experience with a customer. Come on. Good. How and, can you? Well, and, we had a negative experience that we're gonna pull up. We went out fishing with a captain one time, and then Matt caught a nice snapper, beautiful size snapper. And the captain hooks the snapper, all right? I'm not gonna mention his name, Captain Gio Banchi. And <laughs> um, as soon as they pull this massive snapper out, Matt was holding the weight, and it's a big weight, because we're down there. Yeah. So it's a big weight. Yeah. And Matt had the weight in his right hand. And we're going to put a video on that. Wait, make sure you block the background out so we don't give Gio spot away. Yeah, we don't give Gio <laughs> yeah, spot <I> away. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? You're giving Mutton Man Jr. my spot, man. <laughs> so, so he's holding this big weight. Oh, Gio looks at him all happy and goes, give me five, bro. No. Yeah. This guy goes like this to the weight. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's go all the weight. They give five. Once they give five, the weight comes back right to Gio's face. Busted his tooth. Busted his tooth oh. right in half. I caught a fish and a tooth. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. He did. And Not after proud. that, as we were riding back, he goes, I think, I think it's cracked. I think it's cracked. <laughs> yep. No. Right I'm not over. proud of it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it was a was simple mistake. It, Captain Jill was excited. He shouldn't have given you five. He should have grabbed the weight and well, give you he five. He gave me five with his right, and I'm big on, you know, right hand. Yeah. Shake with just, your right side. It's yeah. awkward to go left to right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Listen, People man. do it. Accidents happen, bro. Accidents happen. Accidents do happen. But he's okay now. He fixed it up. He glued it back together. He's all right. Nah, well, he's good. One yeah. thing he mentioned um, was that he started off as a banker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um... I could, you yeah, look like a guy that takes that. people's I told money. Him. I told yeah. him. Yeah. I don't know if it's the glasses yeah. or he's just, hey, how you doing? You know, he got that vibe. He has nah, that, it's, that, it's funny, that man. That welcoming your money. Come here. <laughs> it's just about trust. You know, have you seen them? They're all really nice people. I never have a bad banking experience. No. No. Yeah, most of them want to just take your money, you know, here. Yeah, yeah when you from... request money out, it's like, why? Well, you have to fill out a form and tell me why. Listen, no, bro. you didn't fill out a form when you took my money. <laughs> exactly. We don't have your money right yeah. now. Yeah. Exactly. No, no, man. Yeah, but I used to work at a bank. I was a banker for like about six, seven years. Wow. Well, yeah. they, you, now you heard it. Mutton Man Jr. What's your phone number? 305-764-4659. Say that one more time. 305-764-4659. Guys, check out his Instagram, muttonman underscore junior. Yes, sir. Muttonman underscore junior. Book a trip with him. Make sure your boat's ready, 25 feet or higher, or, or, or bigger. I'm sorry. Yep. Bring it on down if your light wall's not working. Anything electrical is giving you problems, come on down. You need a new motor? I'll take care of you. So you can go fishing with Mountain Man Jr. and go catch some real fish. At least learn how to. And yep. they have a good idea. And, hey, you never That's know. You, you might get a big mutton. For sure. Definitely. All right, guys. That's my name is Alfonso. Good. This is Matt. And we're with Mutton Man Jr. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. See you guys later.